Hello friends, my name is Radha Masood. Today we shall discuss about a topic, bottom up estimation. Friend, today's topic is very interesting and very important with respect to project management and especially if you are planning to give exam of PMP, so this is a very very important topic. So let's uh, start friend. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. So let's uh, start friend. Bottom up estimation. Friend, first of all, we have to understand uh, that what is actually estimation. Friend, as a project manager, you have to do the estimation. Estimation means that how much time is required, how much cost is required to accomplish any particular task or if you want to complete any project. So how much time is required, how much cost is required. So this type of estimation, this type of uh, uh, estimation, this is basically the this is ba basically called the concept of estimation in which you judge, in which you estimate that estimate that how much time or cost is required to accomplish any project now friend a uh, bottom up estimation is a uh, uh, is a technique is a approach which we use to estimate the uh, time or cost to comp uh, to accomplish or complete any activity in bottom up estimation what we do actually we divide the work to a uh, lowest level or you can say a work package we will divide into a uh, lowest level and po identify the activities and then uh, you identify the uh, time estimated time or cost for the lowest level and then on the upper level and then up upper level and then aggregate in order to arrive at summary totals okay so this is basically the concept of bottom up see try to understand again uh, divide the work at a lowest level and at the lowest level you estimate the task in terms of time and cost and then you aggregate those uh, activities in order to arrive at the summary total let me give you an example here for example just uh, see this example for example you have to uh, project management in project you are managing a, uh, a project okay in the in that project you have to do the planning and then you have to do the controlling and then you have to do the reporting in the planning uh, there are three tasks uh, plan schedule plan resource and plan budget Let's assume uh, that for plan schedule you have to do uh, you need eight days uh, for plan resource you have to do five and you need five days and then for plan budget you need ten days okay so in aggregate you need twenty three days okay uh, similarly for schedule you need uh, sixteen thousand uh, dollar for uh, plan resource you need ten thousand dollar and for plan budget you need twenty thousand dollars so in total in aggregate it will become forty six thousand <coughs> similarly for controlling similarly for reporting in the controlling you can see twenty five twenty five fifty and for reporting uh, twenty plus fifteen thirty five similarly uh, for uh, control schedule and control budget you need thirty seven five thousand thirty seven five thousand it will become seventy five thousand dollar and for reporting you need forty eight thousand and then eighteen thousand it will become sixty six thousand so once you will aggregate uh, all those uh, activities then you can reach at level so see this is basically the concept of bottom up estimation bottom up estimation means that see for uh, you divide the work at the lowest level for planning you divide these tasks for controlling you divide these tasks and for reporting you divide these tasks and then uh, for each task you do uh, estimate the required time and cost and then uh, you reach at the aggregate level and then it will aggregate it to that level okay so this is basically the concept of bottom up estimation remember friend that bottom up estimation is more accurate uh, first of all the ad advantages of bottom up estimation it, it is very accurate and estimation er errors can balance out across the components of a project if the time or cost of one work package has been underestimated for instance this could be offset when by an overestimation of another work package bottom up estimation can be used in conjunction with other estimation technique as well for example activity duration duration could be obtained through parametric or analogous estimation as well the disadvantages of uh, the bottom up estimation is that first of all by itself bottom up estimation is a very big activity because uh, it requires lots of time and lots of resources as well uh, any uh, however it's a uh, very accurate but it needs lots of time so the underlying assumption is that the project estimation consists of the sum of its pieces this may ignore overhead and integration efforts that may occur in addition to the work defined activities the bottom estimation itself requires lots of time 
the cost estimation is based on the duration estimate both rely on the estimated resource requirement thus an estimation error there would lead to inaccurate time and cost estimate as well so uh, friend uh, thank you thanks a lot for watching the video i hope uh, you like this video if like please share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks for watching the video thank you